Hey, good morning guys. I wanted to test out one of the freeze-dried preps. I haven't used this before and I do need some breakfast today. So I'm gonna try one of these out. Uh, before we get started, I'm gonna go ahead and just start boiling some water with our electric uh, tea kettle here. And this is from Adventure Meals. It's called Scrambled Eggs with Bacon. It is freeze-dried, it's pre-cooked. And if you can actually see this on camera, Look at the uh, Best Buy date, 2049. I will be collecting Social Security by the time this goes bad. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video uh, just so that we don't have too much noise from this guy heating up. All right, so that's done boiling. Uh, the directions call for uh, eight ounces. And for those of you who are not backpackers, uh, this these pouches actually double as the uh, container. So you can eat these just fine. You will want to take these uh, oxygen absorbers, these preservers out. Um, you don't want to eat those. And here's what the contents looks like on the inside. So kind of like, uh, I don't know yellow styrofoam crunchies. And we just need to go ahead and uh, stir this occasionally and let it sit for about five minutes. It sort of smells like eggs. So they're starting to look like eggs too. Uh, maybe cafeteria eggs from the hospital. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything here, so let me double check the instructions on this packet again. Yeah, so then, like most of these, you reseal them. It has a resealable uh, piece on the top. And we're going to go ahead and stop the video and check on it in five minutes. All right, so we let it stand for about uh, five minutes. So we're going to go ahead now, open it up. I'm going to give it another stir. And it looks like egg soup right now. It's not the most appetizing thing. But there will be a step. When, the last step will be to drain this. So all we have to do now is wait four minutes, just let it stand there a bit, and then we'll drain it. And I'm not gonna eat it out of the pouch since I'm at home. I'm gonna go ahead and plate it, and hopefully that'll give you guys a, a better sense on what it looks like. All right guys, there's a little bit of noise in the background. The dogs are, are eating, so apologies for the crunching. So after about four minutes, it has um, been setting. It looks like it's starting to firm up a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll try to, as best I can, drain these. And what I've learned with the backpacks, it's best if you actually reseal the bag as best you can and just leave yourself a tiny opening, uh, large enough so that, or small enough so that the particulates don't come out so you don't lose any food. So I'm losing just a few, few pieces. Um, and there's something you can also do when you're backpacking and it's a little disgusting. We call it shotgunning. And what that means is if you really are low on calories and need to eat, as disgusting as this egg Kool-Aid looks like with floating particulates, this won't kill you. It's still the same nutrition. You can go ahead and just drink this. So that's actually something I do um, when I go backpacking. And in fact, I don't want to make any waste out in the field, so I don't feel comfortable throwing this um, out there so that the animals can get to it. All right, so now I've got a couple plates. My wife is actually also gonna be a guinea pig here since we've never tasted this before. She does like the, uh, the mountain chili. And this is just single serving, but again, we don't know if we're gonna like it. Um, and I don't want to waste it. This is very expensive uh, freeze-dried meals. Um, 
I think they're about like between eight and ten dollars a piece. Uh, but they do last until 2049, at least when I just purchased this one a few weeks back. And oddly enough, these items seem to still be available on sites like REI.com. I don't think the masses are thinking about preparing more than a couple weeks out. So if you can afford it, uh, you know, getting yourself a few of these might be the way to go. And I'm actually going to go ahead and taste it on camera. have to jump into a meeting here and we'll see what it tastes like. Got a little bit of bacon. Okay, so it's edible. It's definitely food. The dogs would eat it. Um, I think I might just hit it with some ketchup and sriracha and some salt and pepper, and I think I'm good to go, at least for today. All right, thanks all. Be strong, be safe, and think about uh, some adding some freeze-dried meals to your preps. Gotta run.